The Gaza City neighborhood, once known as El Rimel, the Sands, reduced to ashes. Its residents retrieve what they can, which isn't much. Israel continues to pound the strip, targeting, it says, Hamas infrastructure. Residents in shock are asking why. I got married this year, says Yahya Lahuel. What did I do? What have we done? You destroyed an entire neighborhood. He says he never fired a rocket. In this one of the most densely populated patches of land on Earth, bombs crashing into crowded neighborhoods rarely differentiate between fighter and civilian. The death toll rises by the hour, while Gaza's hospitals are overwhelmed with the wounded, including infants. Around 40% of the population of Gaza is under the age of 15, according to the CIA. The information ministry in Gaza reports that nearly 170 buildings have been destroyed and more than 12,000 residences damaged. Tens of thousands have fled their homes, seeking refuge in UN schools converted into shelters. An oven in this bakery in Gaza City has shut down, many of the shelves empty. Life here was already difficult, and now the future looks bleaker than ever. Gaza will take five years to raise its head after this, says Wahiba Sirsawi. And after five years, there will be two or three more wars. It's a catastrophe. And amidst all this, somewhere in Gaza, only Hamas knows where, are more than a hundred Israeli captives, fates unknown. Tuesday afternoon, Israel struck Gaza's only port, used principally by fishermen. While at the same time, Hamas unleashed a massive volley of rockets toward Ashkelon. The abyss approaches. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Jerusalem.